In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective way to beat man coverage out of trips tight end. I'll be showing you one of my favorite concepts and actually one of my favorite routes this year to be able to attack the man-to-man uh, -man meta. Now, the play is going to come out of the trips tight end, and we're going to be utilizing the play drive post. And uh, what we're going to do with this play is we're actually going to be motioning over this post route into a corner route. So um, you're going to see right here, and I'm just going to put the tight end on a uh, in route. And then what you'll see is when you motion this over into a post or into a corner, this route gets really good separation against man to man. As you see right there, we're able to cook the man coverage just like that. Now, if you want to learn more about the trips tight end offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. Uh, the link to sign up for that is in the description. That's where you can get access to my trips tight end ebook, as well as all of my ebooks. I've got uh, 15 offensive and defensive ebooks available in our Patreon membership. And we also, and again, it's only $10 to sign up. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below and click the link down below to sign up. But what we're going to be talking about is this corner route and how to kind of build around this. So um, what I like to do uh, with this play is you, you want to kind of use this as, uh, again, a man beater primarily. So on the left side, we want to have something that is really equipped uh, to be able to attack zone coverage. So what I like to do with this play is we're going to go ahead and we are going to put the uh, second receiver or the middle trips receiver we're going to put him on a streak and then we're going to take you have kind of two choices you can cross her the tight end and beat it this way where you have um you know basically a a high low in the middle of the field and then that crosser will run all the way across the formation not a bad way to beat man at all if you don't want to do that <coughs> excuse me um you can go ahead and put a c route to your solo receiver and then you can have this drag. So you see it looks just like this, except now what we're going to do is we're going to have, you know, a six-man protection scheme. And you see here again, if they run man coverage, it's almost like just a simple man coverage release route. Uh, and most people won't be expecting this. It's actually in trips, a lot of people expect a corner route from the tight end or a crosser. With this, we're going to have a drag from the tight end creating a high-low on the left. And then we have kind of a man-to-man -man release route to this corner. If we see man coverage, that's where we want to go with the football. If we see zone coverage, um, then what we want to do is we want to take advantage of this high-low on the right. So you'll see here this C route against zone whenever you have that middle trips receiver on a streak. That C route can actually get pretty good separation against cover three, cover four, or cover two. So you'll see here, I'm going to go to cover four drop. And again, what you should see is once this streak kind of gets up field, you see I can throw this to the sideline and have a chance to hit that uh, on the sideline. Now, the other thing that I have going for me in this play is I have this drag. And this drag is a great route to check down to. If they go to user that corner, we can throw that drag and just simply take what the defense gives us. I think in Madden 23, one of the reasons why offense has been uh, in some ways great with the ag catches and stuff like that right but in ways when it's hard it's because we're not taking what the defense gives us things like these little baby drags these little baby in route zig route slants are really important because what it's going to do is it's going to get your opponent to come underneath and have to play some kind of hard flat on the trip side when they have to play hard flats on the trip side and when we force them into that what that does for us is now they can't press our clear out streak which means it's going to get down the field more and so what you should see here is now this corner is significantly more open on the sideline or the c route is significantly more open on the sideline really quickly i want to show you what this looks like if we were to run it uh, like this against zone. Uh, it's pretty simple. Basically what's going to happen here is that streak's going to clear out the zones and the crosser is going to come in behind it. This play can attack man and zone in a variety of ways. Um, I can't stress to you how important it is to understand the power of this motion over corner route. When you call this at the right time, this is going to be really hard for them to guard. And obviously most people, if you're like me, you probably have short in elite on this player. So you want to snap the ball 
inside, so like right about in here. That way he's actually going to get some separation. So anyway, this is one of my favorite plays. There's some. There's several ways we can run this play. There's a lot of other variations uh, to this. For example, you could do something like this. Um, this is a very simple variation. It's essentially a mesh concept uh, where we have a high low on the both sides. You know, but this is a great play to attack. You know, kind of some of the meta that we're starting to see. Uh, if they're starting to sit on the C route, I want to suggest to you to run this guy off and then have this guy um, gauge on a drag and do the concept like this. Now, if they're overcommitting to stopping that number two or that number one receiver, you know, now they have to do a lot to be able to stop everything. And obviously the crosser, in my opinion, is one of the better man-beating routes this year. So that is drive post, one of my favorite setups out of it right now with the corner route, motion over corner route, out of trips tight end, can attack man, can attack zone really, really well. And um, I think it's going to give you a nice little pressure release. You're going to, you know, again, Madden, whenever you get to a, high, a little bit of a higher level, it is all about attacking parts of the field that are unique. So they can't sit on the fact that the tight end is on, you know, a drag every time. They can't sit on the fact that when you motion circle over, he's always going to be on a slant. You know, they can't sit on these things. You know, you could even run a concept that looks like this. I think this is actually a pretty underrated play. Um, you know, just do something simple like this. Let me show you what this looks like against zone real quick. If you snap this corner out right here, you'll see that he will actually get pretty good separation against cover three, cover four as well. You know, so you see how good this is. So there's a lot of versatility with this concept, a lot of things that we can do uh, to take it. And, and again, keep your opponent honest. And that's the beauty, I think, of trip side in is there's so many good effective routes that they have a hard time sitting on certain things, um, especially if you mix up your play calls. So if you want to check out my Trips Tide Annie book, we teach you how to do that at a pretty high level, and we show you a ton of versatile setups as well as how and when to call them and why to call them uh, in Trips. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below. It's only $10 to sign up, and you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks as well as any new ebooks that we release and any updates to any of those ebooks as well. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.